Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitha fillah from some of the dangers that we face and see in this time that we live in is those people who belittle the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and those people who make ibtal or they negate the minhaj of the salaf al-salih and that they say hadith are not sufficient for aqidah or hadith are not sufficient for building the religion upon because most hadith are not uh, mutawatir and all of these other false arguments that they use to belittle the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or that they say that the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not authentic or that they say that the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam contradicts the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says fi kitab al-kareem wa atiullah and obey Allah and obey, in the and obey the messenger. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَاهَكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتُهُ That uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and what the messenger came with, you, you accept. And what he prohibited you from, then you stop, you cease. So these are the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen to some of the athar of the salaf and see how different they are compared to some of the people and how the salaf of salih ridwan Allahi alayhim, how they used to uh, react when they heard these types of arguments because there were those people even during the time of the salaf who belittled the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or felt it wasn't authentic or s said they didn't have to act upon it or all of kind of... Uh, various forms of misguided beliefs. When Ya'la ibn Hakim and Sa'id ibn Jubair rahimahullah ta'ala أنه حدث عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حديثا فقال الرجل إن الله عز وجل قال في كتابه كذا وكذا فقال لا أراك تعارض حديث رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بالكتاب الله عز وجل Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this narration, uh, in Sharia, in the book of Sharia, uh, it was a narration of Ya'la ibn Hakim, Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatan wasiyah, on Sa'id ibn Jubair, Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatan wasiyah, uh, that he narrated a narration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a hadith. Of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he said, uh, a man said. So a man said, who was listening, he said, "Verily, Allah the Almighty said in His book, such and such, and such and such." So then he said, meaning uh, Sa'id ibn Jubair, he said, "I don't. Uh, it's not possible that the." A hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam would contradict the uh, book of Allah azza wa jal. In another narration, وقال uh, وقال أبار رحمه الله تعالى كنت بالأهوز فرأيت رجلا قد حف شاربه وأظنه قال قد أشترى كتبا وتعين للفتية فذك فذكر له أصحاب الحديث فقال ليس بشيء وليس يسؤون شيئا فقلت أنت لا تحسن تسلي فقال قال أنا قلت نعم أي تحفظ عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا أفتحتها إذا أفتتها إذا أفتحت إذا أفتحت ورفعت يديك فسكت فسكت فقلت قلت فما تحفظ عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا سجدت فسكت 
for second. For kul tu, alam okul inna kala tuhsin tu salli, fala tadkir ashab al hadith. In this narration, and this is a narration that comes from Sir Alam Nubala, a famous book of the autobiography of the Salaf by Imam al Dhahabi. In the narration, it, uh, it was narrated that Abar, uh, Rahmatullahi, said that I was in a place called Ahwaz. And then I saw a man who had a very big mustache. And I thought that he said, I have purchased or... Uh, uh, I've purchased these books so I'm able to give fatwa, basically. So then it was mentioned the people of Hadith to him. And he said, they're nothing. They never did anything. So then I said, meaning uh, uh, Abar, he said, you are unable to pray correctly. And the man said, me? He said, yes. He said, what have you memorized from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when you open, uh, you know, begin to pray, uh, begin to pray, and when you have, when you raise your hands? And the man was silent. And then I said, what have you memorized from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he made sujood or when you make sujood? The man was silent. And then he said, Didn't I tell you that you don't know how to pray? Do not ever mention Ashab al-Hadith. Meaning never mention the, the narratives of Hadith and the Muhaddithin in a bad way. Because they're the ones who carried the religion so that you would be able to memorize those hadith and have them in fadl Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the fadl from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fadl, fadl of the salaf. And this is the superiority of the salaf as salih and why we love them. Because they were the pioneers of the religion and they were the ones who carried the religion and protected and preserved the religion by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah used them as tools to preserve the religion. This is why we should always respect the people of Hadith. وَقَالَ مُحَمَدِ إِسْمَعِيلَ تِرْمِذِي رَحِيمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالِي إِمَامَ تِرْمِذِي كُنْتُ أَنَا وَأَحْمِدِ بِنْ حَسَنْ أَتِرْمِذِي عِنْدَ إِمَامَ الدِّينِ أَبِي عَبْدِ اللَّهِ أَحْمِدَ بِنْ حَنْبَلْ رَحْمَتُ الْعَلَيْهِ رَحْمَتُ الْعَاسِيَةِ فَقَالَ لَهُ أَحْمِدْ إِبْنْ حَسَنْ يَا عَبْدِ اللَّهِ Qutayla bi Mecca ashab al hadith. Fakala ashab al hadith qom uh, su. Fakama Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Wuhuwa yanfudu thobahu. Wa yaku zindiq, zindiq, zindiq. Hatta dakhla baytuhu. In this narration by Muhammad ibn Ismail al Tirmidhi. He said, I, I was with Ahmed ibn Hussein al-Tirmidhi, uh, with the imam of the religion, Ahmed ibn Hanbal, rahmatullahi rahmatul wasiyah. And so then he said to Ahmed, he said to Ahmed ibn Hussein, oh, uh, uh, sorry, فَقَالَ لَهُ Ahmed ibn Hussein, so Ahmed ibn Hussein said to him, and he said to Imam Ahmed, Ya Aba Abdullah, O father of Abdullah, mention for us the story of Abu Qutila in Mecca uh, regarding Ashab al Hadith, the people of Hadith. And he said, meaning that he, he said that the that this man said, Ashab al Hadith, the people of Hadith, they're an evil people. They're evil people. So Imam Ahmed stood up. And he grasped his thobe or dusted off his thobe. And then he said, 
Zadik, Zadik, Zadik. Basically, you're a heretic three times. And then he uh, entered his house, meaning he left Ahl And in the last narration I want to mention, just to show you how the Salaf al Salih was. وَقَالَ الصَّابُورِ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ رَحْمَةُ الْوَاسِيَةِ وَسَمِعْتُ حَكِمْ الْحَكِمْ يَقُولُ سَمِعْتُ شَيْخَ أَبَا بَكْرَ أَحْمَدَ بِنِ إسْحَاقَ إِبْنَ أَيُوبَ الْفَقِيْهِ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ يُنَادِ الرَّجَلِنَ فَقَالَ الشَّيْخَ أَبُو بَكْرَ حَدَّثَنَا فُلَانٌ فَقَالَ لَهُ رَجُلٌ دَعَنَا مِنْ حَدَّثَنَا إِلَّا مَتَى حَدَّثَنَا فَقَالَ الشَّيْخُ لَهُ قُمْ يَا كَافِرْ فَلَا يُحِلَّكَ أَنْ تُدْخُ دَارِي بَعْدَ هَذَا أَبَدًا ثُمَّ أَلْتَفَتْ إِلَيْنَا وَقَالْ مَا كُلْتُ لِأَهَدْ قَتْ لَا تُدْخُ دَارِي إِلَّا هَذَا In the book, Aqeedah to Salaf wa Ashab al-Hadith by Imam al-Sabuni, Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatullahi wasiya, he said, I heard Hakim say, or saying, that I heard uh, the Sheikh Abu Bakr Ahmed ibn Ishaq ibn Ayyub al-Faqih, Rahmatullahi alayhi wa rahmatul wasiyah, who said, uh, and, and he was debating with a man. And then the Sheikh, Sheikh Abu Bakr, he said, Hadathanu Fulan, and Hadathana is when you are narrating hadith, you're talking about the, the narrators in the chain of narration. Hadathana so and so, Hadathana so and so. You know, so and so said, so and so said. So he said, Hadathana Fulan, showing you Ahla Hadith and Ahla Sunnah is concerned with the evidence and they're concerned with the chain of narrations and the authenticity of Hadith and narrations. So he said, Hadathana Fulan, so and so said. So then the man said to him, Leave off Hadathana. You know, we don't want to hear this the, the, about the narrators. He said, until when, when you know, are we going to continue to hear about the narrators? You know, hear about this hadethina, hear all this kind of stuff. We don't need to hear that. So then the sheikh said to him, stand ya kafir. And, do, and it is not permissible for you to enter my home after this ever. And then he turned to us and he, he said... I never said that to anyone except that one. So this shows you, Habatifillah, how the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, dealt with Ahlul Bid'ah, and especially with people who had major Bid'ah, people who wanted to belittle the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and give no importance to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and those people who want to destroy the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam which is our understanding of the Quran which is our understanding of how tatbiq al Quran which is our understanding of the manners of the Quran which is wahi and revelation from Allah azza wa jal so how is it that a people like this could be successful? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.